Hello. I'm just making sure everything's working right, which I think it is, but. I'm just making sure we can hear me. Okay. I remember on this whole version, I can't, I can't see comments, so I will definitely come back to them. So no worries. Um, we're running through Canva this month. And today what we're going to do, is we're going to make like a postcard. We're going to make an address label. We're going to make something. We're going to download it out of Canva. And then we're going to do some options to print. Now, I do not have a Mac. I do not any, know anything about a Mac. I don't, I cannot help you with a Mac. That's not my area of expertise. Um, so I have an HP laptop. That's what I'm using. Now, how you can export on a phone, I have no idea. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't even know how to print from my phone, if I'm going to be honest, anything from my phone. So I can't help you there. But what we can do is we're going to go in and let's do a postcard. Say we want to make a thank you postcard to stick in the mail. So we're going to go here to postcard. And then remember, you can create a blank one or you can search through the templates. Remember, if it's got the little the little um, crown, that means it's it costs. It's from it's part of the paid membership. That's what I'm talking about. But remember that just because it has that there doesn't necessarily mean you can't change things. You can still pull this one up and then you will have like a dotted line X and it'll say Canva over the things that are part of the pro package. So then, you know, if you liked this layout, but this flower was part of the paid package, you could totally just delete that flower, find one that is part of the free and use it, okay? We're just gonna create a blank one. And remember, same thing, you can go over here and we're gonna look up a thank you just because that's what we're doing. Let's go ahead and use this one. But we don't have to. Remember, we can always go in and create all of our own things. So let's get rid of this. Say we just like this background. Oops, undo that. Let's make it like that. Elements. So we can use as many things as possible. Do, 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 do. Let's go with that one. These little white circles is how you adjust your size. And the little dotted lines are going to be if it's centered or where it is, stuff like that. This is how you can turn it. Again, this is always the hardest part is just being creative. Um, up here in some items, you can change some items you can't. That's where you can go in and change the colors if you wanted. You can edit the image. Again, I'm not 100% sure what all of this is part of the free and what part isn't. Um, these ones you don't really use too, too much. I'll show you when you can use those. Animate, I don't think you can do unless it's part of the paid. Um, this one is I use a lot the transparency. So say you wanted to make that thank you lighter. Okay, we're gonna move it up here to the corner. Now let's do um I don't know why.
now set. And well, that's not really. I'm trying to find him an image. I can think. Okay, here we go. No. Oh, my Jiminy. Okay. Say you wanted to put this one here and you wanted the exact same one over here, but you wanted it flipped. That's when you would use this. So we would make a copy of it. I'm having a day today. We would move it and flip it. See, that's when you use that flip feature. I had to figure it out. It took me a minute to figure out what in the world I wanted to flip. Um, your text, remember we talked about text. So there's some suggested fonts. That's always a big thing. I always make sure when you're on here, like see how it's high, like that is gonna be that water splash on the back so i always end up grabbing the wrong thing but that's what there's a handy dandy undo button for so we're gonna make this bigger and then effects some fonts you can make bold some you can't it just depends on the, the font in which it is effects are how you can go in you can make it have like a different color behind it i use this one a lot um And you can change it. I like, see so you can make it so that it's really big. See how it's the two. So we can go in here, we'll make it the green. And then you can make it transparent or not transparent. See how it got darker. That's what these are. Don't be afraid to play in here. It's truly nothing scary. This one is a shadow. Yeah shadowy behind it hollow splice again and then you can change the directions see go in and play with it don't feel like you have to do one thing or another because you truly truly don't you can make it whatever you want That one's kind of fun. Oh, it looks like it's got multiple back there. And then see how we're changing where how it's going. So yeah, you can go in and just have fun with these however you want. Don't feel like you have to do anything tricky. Curved is hard. I'm not going to lie. It is a tad bit tricky to use and it usually takes me several tries to get it right. Down here is how you can zoom in. You can do it, create your image, you know, whatever you're doing. You can create it just here in this screen, but I'm going to tell you sometimes you have to zoom in really close to sometimes be able to just grab something and make it exactly what you want it to do. So don't be afraid to go in, move around, check it out. All right. Um, so we did font, we did all of that. Here's how you can look at it big, Ta -da! big, big, big. If you wanted to add a page, say you wanted to duplicate this page, say you were making um, personalized cards, say you're a leader and you're doing team, um, you know, your number blank out of blank cards or something like that, and you need to make 10 of them. You can just hit this duplicate page and it's going to copy everything over and then you can just go in and change what you needed to. All right. Um, another suggestion when you are making an item, making a project, rename it, and I'll show you why here in a little bit. I always forget to do that and I'm trying to remember to be better at that. So now, print postcard means you want Canva to print it. Share is what you're gonna need, all right? Down in here, there's a whole bunch of things. This one you cannot use unless you have um, the paid version. Download, if you click that, it's gonna ask you, you wanna do a JPEG, a PNG, a PDF, PDF print. That one's only for the paid. A video, which nothing on there is animated, so there would be no reason to do that. I usually just keep it here. Um, all of these items here, transparent background, changing the size, compress the files, things like that, you cannot do unless you have the paid version. This one has two pages, 
So see how it says all pages? But we are going to deselect and we're only print one. Done. Download. So then it's going to take a little bit and it's going to pop up down here. All right, so that's how you're going to create a project. So you're going to go ahead and let's do an address label really quick. Well, if I could have spelled because that was terrible, but good thing they knew what I was talking about. All right, let's do this one. I don't like the way this one's set up, but we're just going to roll with it anyway. <laughs> Again, we're going to go in here and just download just like regular. We're going to go into all of those other little things later. Now, see how this is PDF print. I'm going to go in and change it to a PNG and we're going to show you why. I nine times out of 10 download is a PNG. So everything's down here at the bottom. So now you have options. This is actually saved to your computer. It's no longer, it's in Canva, but it's in your computer to do whatever you want with it. So this is when you can go in and you hit print and then however your printer is set up, your computer is set up, that's how you're going to go in and change it. Like you're going to can go into these settings and change. How do you want, how do you big you want it? Do I want it a four by six? And then, then see, that's where I start. I, it's, I can't print for mine because I get lost and confused because I want it to be four on a page, right? It's a postcard. I don't want to waste paper. If you know how to do that on your regular photo editing stuff, more power to you. I don't. So this is what I do. Go to a3.com, which is another free site. It is free, totally free. You'll make an account. You're going to log in and then you can do templates and it's so easy. So we're going to put postcard. And we want postcard templates. And it honestly doesn't truly matter which one you do. Because look, they're the same size. It's just usually because of numbers, like, and it's an older product. Like this one was the older one. This is the newer one kind of deal. So you go through and you find the one that you want to use. Again, they're all the same size. So it truly, truly doesn't matter. This way or this way doesn't matter either. And I will show you why. So we're going to take this one. And we're going to start designing. It's going to ask you to enter your junk. Again, totally free. So then it's going to pull this up and you're going to hit, we're going to use this one. Select this template. Select this design because we want to blank because we are going to import in the design we just made, right? So you can see over here, we're going to work in one panel. But you're going to see over here, there's four. And that's what we want. We wanted to print four to a page because we, we don't want to waste paper. So you're going to go over here to image, add image, browse for a file because now it's going to pull up your computer. And we're going to go and find what wherever you downloaded that thank you postcard to. All right. So it's going to bring it in. Da, 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 da. Now look, see, it's on all four of them. But here's the deal. It's the wrong size, right? It's the wrong orientation. We're going to turn it and stretch it. Look at that. Ta da! So it's saying that because, see, yeah, it's got the little red around it. It's like the danger, danger. They're worried something might get cut off. So you just adjust, adjust. So you don't have the red. And that's it. Look. No, I don't want front back. Print it yourself. Print the front. You're going to get the PDF to um, print. You can save it or you don't have to save it. It's totally, totally up to you. I'm just going to hit don't save because this is just a junk one. Open your PDF. And then look, it's going to print four of those per page. If I hit print, 
that's what's going to print out. See how easy that was? So, 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 so easy. That's what so many of us do. Create your design in Canva, upload it to Avery. So let's go in and do address labels. Leave. And then it'll save it in here. That's the other thing. We did not hit save. But if you hit save, then it's in here. So then you can refer back to it later. So let's do. And this is another thing that you can use. So say you wanted to create an address label, but you're like, I don't know what size to create it as. You're going to come over here and be like, okay, I want my address labels to look like this on a sheet of paper. So I need to do a one by two and five eighths. So then you're going to come over here, create a design, custom size change this to inches, one, I don't know how to do two and five eighths, so we're going to just do 2.5 <laughs> because I don't know how to do it. And then there you go. Now that's where I always have an issue is I always create it the wrong way, like length and width. So then I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to go in and make this 2.5 and that's one. I do that literally every single time I create a design. So then you could go in and create an address label this size. You download it and we're going to upload it to this. So we're going to do that green one and see if it works. Sometimes that's the hard part is downloading it in Canva and creating it in Canva and then making it work in here. Occasionally your signs just sizes are just not going to work and you've got to kind of tweak it a little bit here and there. Like I don't think it's going to work, but we're going to try it anyway. Image. Add image, browse, this green one, like I said, I truly don't think it's going to work. I think it's too big. Yeah, see, it's not going to stretch far enough. You see, it's going to cut all that off if we made it. I mean, you kind of can make it work if you wanted. You could do it just like that. Um, so then that's when we're going to go back over here and we're going to recreate and you're going to do a different size. There is a resize option, but that is only for paid, um, things, paid subscription profile thingamajiggers. So you can go in here. Let's do address. Obviously, that would not be how big our address is, but we're just going to do it just for sake. So this isn't going to work. So we're going to delete that. We're going to add image. And we're going to see if this one works. And it should. And see, sometimes you're going to have that you even stuck in the right size, right? We did the whole custom size and it's like, nope, it's not working. So sometimes you still have to kind of go in and edit and change and like move things around a smidge or you have a little bit of a cut off on the sides. Um, sometimes it, it is easier to create your design bigger and shrink it down versus small and grow it, build it up, stretch it out, however you want to say that. So sometimes that's the hardest part, but this allows you to then go in and create things here. All right, so we created an address label. We created a postcard. Let's do a circle label. Are you ready? Let's do that. So I don't think. Oh, there is. I didn't know there was. So let's look at these circle labels. Let's say you wanted to create. Let's do that one. Wait for it to come up. That's actually what mine is right here. But we're going to change this to a G. Nope. See, this is when things get tricky.
Good enough. Good enough. Let's download this. And then in Avery, And you don't have to have these. You don't have to have um, the exact labels in front of you. You truly don't have to. Another option that you can do is you just go in here and look, or you look on Amazon. Go on Amazon and look and see and be like, okay, that's what number it is. I've done that a hundred times. All right, let's do this one. And all I do is that special shapes and letter labels and then all different kinds. So we're going to select this one. Again, we want a blank because we created it someplace else. Now you would need this label to print it out this way. Like if you wanted it to have this little scalloped edge on and everything like that, obviously you're going to need the appropriate. Um, label sticker paper otherwise it's not going to print now it's saying that you've got all of that out because this whole image is a square but we only care about the circle we just want our circle to be centered and that's what it would look like if we had that correct printer paper it would print out on there and that's what it would look like. So that's how you can go in and create stickers for, you know, your find me stickers, label all, all your products, your address labels, um, labels, fun labels for products, you know, thank you stickers on the back. If you don't want to buy thank you stickers, you can always create your own thank you stickers. You would just need to make sure that you have the Avery label that you want. Um, and then you go in and design it in Canva. Remember, sometimes creating it bigger is easier to shrink it down than it is to make it bigger. So create your image, find your size, you know, see what size it is, play around with it, not hard. All right, so that's how you download out of Canva and upload into Avery. Now, again, if you know how to edit your stuff in your photo editing and you can print it from there and do that but i put my stuff into avery because i don't want to waste paper so if i put it in avery i know i can print four to a postcard i know i can print a whole sheet things like that um there's something else oh yeah so remember when i said to make sure that you change the name up here the reason is Canva automatically saves things for you. When you create it, it saves it. If you created an account, even the free account, it's going to save the project in here for you. Every time you click on a Canva link, like in the Canva group, and they're like, share this cute thing, and you're like, oh, that's cute, and you click on it to use it later, and you kind of totally forget about it, it's still in your Canva account. See how these are still here? You can actually search up here. for um, a project that you've done. But if you didn't name it correctly, it may not come up. And that's where I have a really, really tough time because I totally forget. Um, that's my landing page, it has my YouTube on it. The team text, it talks about YouTube on there. Copy of a teeny packet, that was somebody else's teeny packet. Apparently it talks about YouTube. That's my actual YouTube banner. Copy of a new sponsor checklist. There's a mention of YouTube somewhere in these graphics. That's why it's popped up. But if you change the name, this is something that you're going to remember. It makes it easier to search later. So let's hit refresh. And then we're going to search it and see if it comes up. And there it is, round circle initial label. So that's something that's huge, huge, huge because it allows you to search it, but I literally forget to change the name of all of my graphics. So I'm not very good at that. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was folders. You do get 
not a ton of folders. I don't remember the exact many, but you do get certain amount of folders with the free account. And that allows you to organize stuff. So like I have, this is my catalog graphics that I use every year because it's saved. Remember we talked about how it saves it. So when we get the new catalog, all I have to do is go in, click the cleaning one and it's saved. I'm using the same thing. It's my branding. It's what people know. I can just go in and change those stuff on it very quickly so I can get those new catalog graphics done in no time. I have them for the warmers. So see, I just have to go in and change a few things and boom, my catalog graphics are done. That's why these folders are super handy dandy. Catalog switch, that's for discontinued list. Party graphics, team pictures, printables and printables and templates. Those are things that I use, you know, I print off a lot or I use a lot. That's my weekly newsletter, the team newsletter, the bring back my bar right there. Holy mac and cheese. That's so easy to have that already done, sized, ready to go. This is my referral and stock card. So all I have to do is download it and upload it to have it printed off. The um, The cover photos, things like that, they're all saved right in here to make it go very fast. Because if you know what you saved it as, like your thank you postcard, if you did it, so we're gonna use this one. Let's say we wanted to do it for Halloween. Right? Halloween. Last of Halloween. Halloween. And see, sometimes it's just dumb and it doesn't want to do what you want it to do. All right. So say this is your thank you for Halloween. You know, this is what you were going to have. This looks stupid, but still, you get what I'm saying. Say this is what you were going to have for Halloween. So then you printed off all of your Halloween thank yous. And now you're like, oh, it's Thanksgiving. So let's do Thanksgiving. You would just go in, find this thank you postcard and change it, that's it. It's not recreating the wheel. It's not doing it all from scratch. You already have the thank you postcard. You just now have to go in and change the background. That's it. And see like that's still there. But do you see what I'm saying? So if you name your items and save them in a way that's gonna help you remember what you named it and saved it as, then you can search it up. Thank you. Postcard, you know, okay. All I have to do is go in, change a few things, Print it out, done, good, go. So hopefully that has helped some of you. Canva is not hard. You just have to go in and play with it. And you just remember the first few things you do is going to suck. You're going to think they look terrible. And it is what it is, is what it is. But nobody knows what it looks like. Like nobody knows what mine looks like. Nobody knows what other people's looks like. So they're not judging based on that. Like you're going to look at it and be like, well, someone's looks so much better. They don't know who so-and-so is and they don't know what so-and-so is doing. So don't get caught up on that. Um, the only other thing I would tell you is be careful ink. If you're printing them at home, this background is going to take a heck of a lot of ink. So maybe look for a background that's not as ink heavy. You don't even need a background, right? throw something on there like that you know get rid of that throw that in there and then let's do a script font Probably not going to find the exact same, but you can sometimes find close. We're going to size it. We're going to give it a little bit of a shadow so it's a little bit bold. We're going to find that orange color. And boom. You could do something like that. That's still just as cute. It's still just as meaningful and it's a lot less ink. 
always keep that in mind. But again, I think that's it. I think that's all I got for you. <laughs> um, if you have questions, please ask. I'll go back and look at the comments after this post. But it is just go and play with it. Don't get caught up in the how does it look? How does so-and-so's look? Just do something that is meaningful and helpful. Um, same thing, graphics. If you do a graphic for a post, um, bring back my buddies are coming. I was trying to think what's coming. Bring back my buddies are coming. The bricks are coming. Um, the retro collection is coming. You can totally go in here. Let's do our... Instagram post one because remember it's a square. You're going to create it here. You're going to hit download, right? Well, you're going to hit share and then you're going to hit download. Oh, I hit the more because I'm so used to hitting more. Download. It's right now it's empty, so there's nothing there for me to download. But then you're going to make sure it says a PNG. It's going to download into your computer wherever it should download. Mine downloads automatically my downloads folder. Then you're going to go in and find it, and you're going to go over to Facebook and you're going to create your post. So again, don't think too too much about it. Like that would be super cute. That's a cute one. And then you can change that. Important announcement. Bring back my buddies are coming need information like you can don't think too hard seriously don't 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 think too hard if you have questions let me know i am off to make some thank yous have a good rest of your monday evening bye